Well, I'm, I'm very honored to be here tonight speaking on behalf of my friend and my partner, Bishop Burton. Let me begin, however, by thanking the Salt Lake Chamber and specifically Lane for inviting me to be a part of tonight's wonderful event. I could not agree more with the Board of Governors selection of Bishop Burton as the 31st recipient of this important honor, particularly since the Giant in Our City Award is the highest individual honor bestowed by Salt Lake City's business community. I am sure that many of you are aware of Bishop Burton's distinguished career, both in the private sector as well as with the church. I was introduced to Bishop Burton, I think it was about seven years ago, in what could easily uh, be described as a trial by fire. We threw ourselves into the City Creek Project as his advisor, really not knowing where it would lead us. But we always believed this would be an interesting project that would break new ground, though I can scarcely believe that seven years have already passed and we haven't sold anything yet. <laughs> Time does fly, but believe me, there will be a chance for that coming. <laughs> Time does fly when you are having fun. As I think about City Creek, I think about the values of inspired leadership, vision, and civic stewardship, all of which are amply exemplified in the stone and steel of this project. But I also think about Bishop Burton and how this project is a reflection of his values, which are also reflected in the values celebrated by this award that Lane eloquently spoke about earlier this evening. As someone who is deeply involved in my own community of Detroit, I know what a difference good leadership can make in moving a city forward and what the consequences can be of poor leadership. And I must say, unfortunately, we've had our share of poor leadership in Detroit. You are lucky to have Bishop Burton on your team, though I am sure that Detroit would consider giving you a few draft picks if he was willing to be traded. And let, and let us all remember, Bishop Burton will always be a proud Wolverine, having gone to graduate school at my, father's, my father and mother's alma mater, the University of Michigan. I would have been happy to come here tonight, if only to publicly express my congratulations to Bishop Burton. But I must admit that I'm also thrilled to be here in a, ro in a room full of potential customers. <laughs> As a retail developer, I can't help but being excited by a room full of elegant evening wear, sparkling jewelry, and fashionable handbags. <laughs> and I am sure you will all be thrilled by the stores we are assembling and the wonderful merchandise they will be selling. The City Creek Project, of which my company, the Taubman Company, is very proud to be a part, is a reality because of Bishop Burton, and it is a direct reflection of his extraordinary commitment and character, and I might say, leadership does make a difference, and at times one person can make a difference, and this is one of those times. Like history's most respected civic leaders, Bishop Burton is not afraid of big ideas and ambitious goals. City Creek, by any measure, is a big idea. Just, just walk outside and look. In fact, it's the largest mixed-use urban project under development in the nation, and it features the, the, and listen to this, is the only major retail shopping center which is under construction in the United States today. Daniel Burnham, 
who drafted the master plan for the development of Chicago at the beginning of the 20th century, is credited with saying, make no little plans. They have no magic to stir men's blood and probably themselves will not be realized. Make big plans. Aim high in hope and work, remembering that a noble logical diagram once recorded will not die, but long after we are gone, be a living thing, asserting itself with ever-growing insistence. With much the same vision and confidence, Bishop Burton has willed the development of City Creek, driven by his love of this city and, its, and his respect for its future. In a recent interview in the Tribune, he was quoted as saying, Salt Lake City is a dynamic, wonderful place to live, work, and visit. We want to do our part to keep it that way. To some, pursuing such an ambitious project in the depths of the so-called Great Recession may seem a bit foolish. To others, including to Bishop Burton and to me, it is quite the opposite. You continue to move forward when times are tough, so you are prepared to succeed when the economy improves. With retail sales now strengthening across the board, it looks like we will be opening City Creek Center at an ideal time. And we talked a lot about timing over the last few years. And we took comfort in the fact that companies like General Electric, Hewlett Packard, and Federal Express were founded in times of economic distress. And the iPad, the most successful consumer product launch of all time, was introduced at a time, as we all remember, when unemployment in our country was approaching 10%. I guess big ideas and confidence go hand in hand. But like all gifted leaders, Bishop Burton complements his enthusiasm for big ideas with a pragmatic focus on the smaller details that really distinguish a project and make it special. I vividly recall the trips Bishop Burton took to inspect firsthand working examples of the retractable roof, and we will, as many of you probably know, have a retractable glass and steel roof in this project, and the mock-ups of the waterfall feature that are included in the design of City Creek Center. I can assure you, he didn't miss a thing. Not a detail. <laughs> and of course, the project's name itself came from Bishop Burton's vision to recreate City Creek, as Brigham Young would have seen it as he came over the Wasatch Mountains and into this valley over 160 years ago. I can assure you that no one in the Taubman Company, definitely myself included, has ever attempted to recreate a stream in the middle of a shopping environment. <laughs> Over five levels of structured parking, I might add. <laughs> this project will be totally unique, unlike anything that has ever been created. And I, and I might add, I uh, said recently to the head of our Hong Kong office that he must come over to see this when it opens, because this will be a great example for us to show uh, our Asian partners of the type of urban redevelopment that can be accomplished. Bishop Burton also takes the concept of good stewardship very serious, seriously. An excellent example of that is the ambitious goal he set to earn LEED certification for City Creek. For those of you who are not in familiar with this international certification system, LEED stands for Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design. Here in the U.S., the United States Green Building Council provides third-party verification that a project was designed and built to deliver real energy savings, water efficiency, CO2 emissions reduction, improved indoor air quality, and sensitivity to the surrounding environment. City Creek is going to realize that goal in part because a portion of the project is being built with recycled steel and concrete from the implosion of the old Key Bank office tower and from the demolition of the crossroads in ZCMI center malls. Much of the retail sits below a retractable steel and glass roof, as I said, that will be open much of the time during comfortable weather, 
which is obviously a clear energy saver and, and is obviously very well suited to this climate because you have such a wonderful temperate climate almost all of the year. And the project also scored many of its certification points for the, for the pedestrian friendly layout. Well, it feels, it feels very temperate to me. <laughs> I'm from Detroit. <laughs> it's always a question of context. <laughs> <laughs> and the project scored many of its certification points for the pedestrian-friendly layout that puts a number of uses, including residential, office, and shopping, within walking distance of one another. Further, we are finding that all of these steps, which were really complicated to accomplish, did not really add significant cost, and they will certainly make the project more efficient to operate in the future. As I said earlier, City Creek is a large and complex project by any measure. Successfully redeveloping 23 acres within the heart of an historic downtown is a bit like mastering a, a Rubik's Cube, something I have never done, by the way. <laughs> My colleagues and I have been especially impressed with Bishop Burton's ability to approach a multitude of challenges with an open mind, creating clarity out of complexity and making sound decisions in a timely manner. When you add up all of these admirable qualities, a willingness to embrace big ideas, impeccable timing, attention to detail, a commitment to good stewardship, and the ability to cut through complexity to make good decisions, you define great leadership in business and in life. You define the Giant in Our City Award, and you obviously define my friend and my partner, Bishop Burton. And if you're lucky enough to get to know Bishop Burton, and I know many of you do here, you will recognize very quickly that these rare qualities spring from a sharp intellect. As I said, he does, after all, have an MBA from the University of Michigan. <laughs> his extraordinary love of his family, a tireless, truly a tireless commitment to his hometown. I can't tell you how many phone calls we had at whatever hours as we were working on this project. And of course, a deep devotion to his faith. So on behalf of myself, my father, my brother, who are my partners in our business, and all the men and women of the Taubman Company, some of whom are here today, including our whole management team, who will be involved in this project. I'm thrilled to be here to congratulate Bishop Burton on the receipt of this honor and, of course, on this very special evening. We're as proud to be your partner as we are to be a part of the Salt Lake City community. Thank you very much.